Okay, here we have a PR3B16A head. We're gonna look into the port geometry, the port angle entry, and of course, all the other aspects that we can compare with the GSR P72 casting head, including the port angle entry like this. And we can show you the difference and even reference with Gen V ITB and also port volume that no one really talks about. And of course, the usual, we're gonna talk about the compression differences and we actually gonna set examples of an engine with a b16a head and then a gsr and compare the difference so they can figure out what's best for you and make power with <laughs> Here we are with the B16A PR3 casting cylinder head. As you can see, we don't really port it that much and we will tell you why later. But for now, let's get to the nitty gritty of things and get to the compression difference. All right, now let's go to zeoautoworks.com for the compression calculator, B series, and we go with a B18C type R. So let's click all the specs, B16, B18C, B16B. Then the crank is type R, and of course JDM because it's number one. All right, and then get the rod, which is a B18C5. There you go. Now we calculate the compression. It's 11.3 is to one. It's com compression, all right? Now let's switch with the GSR head right now. Let's see, it's gonna go up a bit there and you can see the chamber differences all got got smaller all right so let's compute it's okay so it's 11.59 is to one compression almost 11.6 but okay let's go back to the b16 pr3 head and let's resurface it let's say 0 0.010 of an inch or one fourth millimeter or 0.25 let's see the difference okay 0 0.010 here okay and we calculate look 11.64 is to one so technically with just the resurfacing to deck the head you already exceed the gsr compression so when you think about it does it really raise that much compression or once you build the b16 head to the b20 or the b18 it's much the same right Okay, now let's go to the B20 now because I have the specifications or the specs of the YCP Gen 1. It's 3.5 cc dome, all right? And then the compression height is 29.85. And you will see later, uh, 84, sorry. In here, you can see with the B20 rods, let's calculate. There, 11.81 is to one compression. Now let's switch to a GSR head. All right, there, 41.6 cc chamber. Let's calculate. Okay, there, 12.08 is to one compression. So it's 12 is to one. That increases the compression, right? But let's go back like we did earlier with the B16 head and we resurface it 0 0.010 thousand of an inch or one fourth millimeter or 0.25. Look, 12.15 is to one. So technically it's still a little bit more, right? So when people say the you know GSR has more compression, well, yeah, you can resurface the PR3 head. It'll match the same or actually exceed it. So that's when you know.
Oh, and shout out to Benji Co. Because this is one of the many things we talk about on the PMs or DMs at the SRD Motorsports page because we always talk about technical stuff. So now let's go here onto the chamber difference. A lot of people, are, they often say it's the B16 has an open chamber. Unlike the GSR, it has quench pads on the intake side and the exhaust like this, you can see. But yes, that's the difference. But to take advantage of this, you have to remember, like I said before, 0.040 to 0.042. 042 is the ideal quench distance safely i've gone tighter but i don't recommend that so now let's go with that let's compute that on the calculator so let's head back to zero auto work all right we zero this out we start from how it is as standard all right we go back to the b18c itr specification all right and then the b16 head but we use gsr so we can get to figure out the quench all right here as you can see look oh wait we forgot the rod sorry okay we go to b18c connecting rod all right so there it's 11.59 compression the gasket is 0 0.026 and it's below deck by 0 0.026 so that's 0 0.052 that's too far from 0.040 to 42, right? So what we do is we take off 0 0.01 or 10,000 of an inch or 1 fourth millimeter. So this becomes 212, oh sorry, 212.14 millimeter. All right, so now let's calculate there. So it becomes 0 0.016 below deck in inches. So that's, you add the 0 0.026 of the head gasket Hey, that's 0 0.042, almost ideal or ideally perfect, right? That's when you get to take advantage of the quench distance. Of course, you can mill the head different amounts and get all the good stuff, but you know, it gets a little complicated, but you still get the ideal window like this. And that's how you take advantage of the quench pad that the GSR cylinder head provides. And it's always going to be a good result when you get good de details like this. And that's one of the many things that we do when we're building an engine, any engine. All right. Okay. Let's for you guys, let's do the B20. Okay. So we scroll back up. We click for the B20 block here. All right. And then, of course, the crank is a B20. And then this, we put the Gen 1 YCP pistons, which is 29. Wait, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 29.84 millimeter compression height. All right. So now let's compute it. And wait, let's not forget the connecting rod. It has to be B20. Okay, there's 12.08. And as you can see, it's 0 0.026 on the head gasket and it's below deck by 0 0.020. So that's 0 0.046 quench distance. That's a little too much. So here, this is what we do. We adjust the block height. So it's pre we're pretending we milled the block. So it's 211 or 211.84 millimeter deck height, right? Okay, so we remove one fourth of a millimeter which is 0.25 or 0 0.010 inch all right so this becomes to, wait no, 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 no sorry my math 211.59 millimeters okay now we complete calculate there so it's 0.10 below deck but this time the gasket is a little less so we add one layer to make this 0 0.035 of an inch so that way it's 0 0.045 quench distance it's a small thing but it does help and of course you can also resurface the block let's say instead of 0.25 millimeter you can resurface it 0.20 or even 0.3 millimeter it's up to you but this is also why we measure and remeasure every single thing when we're building an engine and there are times while everything is good on paper, physically, the actuality, it's not, or it's a little bit different. That's why we have this deck bridge stand to make sure on the how much the piston is below the deck. This way we can get the quench almost perfect. 
especially when you're dealing with 0 0.001 of an inch accuracy. Now on to the next one. Here we show you the port entry is actually quite horizontal on the B16A head. It's just straight up, not even tilted. Look, see, we're checking it crudely, but you know what it is, right? It shows you. And this is why I have this chopped up intake manifold runner or flange just to show me whenever I'm port matching. And also for the future, I can make a different kind of manifold using that flange here it's zero right this one could let me make another intake manifold on my own and this lets me understand port matching better and the attack i would do on porting the intake manifold now let's go to the gsr head you can see the port entry is angled upwards right on this on this shot you can see it better and here just to show you guys here it tilts up and even the angle it shows here it's 15 degrees or around 15 degrees right and this is not to say that the gsr is better than the b16a head no it's just to show you guys the differences and of course when you're choosing an aftermarket intake manifold there are differences because some intake manifold work really well with a b16a head and not necessarily with the gsr head and vice versa like it may work for a gsr head but not really well for a b16a cylinder head like this Gen V is one of the few that factored in the port entry. Maybe that's why they make good power. You can see here the flange, it's horizontal, then it bends upwards for the B16. That's because the port entry is near horizontal. Now let's check the GSR. Well, we just look at that. The port entry is tilted 15 degrees. Hey, that's almost the same as how we found it, right? And this is factored in because it's a GSR head. That's why Gen V makes power. And that is why I have this chopped up B16A flange and also a spare GSR intake manifold that I can chop on the flange. This way I can build any kind of intake I want that fits the proper head that we're gonna use, right? Now let's go to the port volume, which I don't think anyone talks about. Here we check the port volume of the PR3 B16A head. And it comes out to be 126 cc volume. And of course, this is mildly ported, so we clean it up. So that's around 2 to 3 cc more. But this is 126 cc port volume. And now we're going to compare it with the GSR. All right, so let's go. And on this, we got 118 cc port volume. It's also mildly ported, so you know, it's a little bit more than usual or than stock, but it's just 118 cc port volume, significantly lesser than the PR3 B16A counterpart, right? And this doesn't mean the B16 flows more. The CFM has little to do with port volume. Like for example, a CNC ported B16A head that's 305 or let's say 308 CF CFM flow at 0 0.550 lift. Okay, now slap that onto an ITR block. Yes, it'll make more power, it'll improve. But then again, if you slap on a mildly ported head as properly done, it might outperform it simply because of the port volume and because the engine or displacement is not demanding that much air and plus lastly let's not forget if it's 308 cfm at 0.550 lift if you're running even a pro 2 or pro 3 that's maximum 0.5 lift you'll never see the 308 cfm right so everything else below that lift lift the mildly ported head might outperform it and it's kind of like reading a dyno sheet you know we're not talking about just the peak numbers of course the peak numbers will be glorious when we post it on facebook but when you think about it the area under the curve really matters more than it should and that is why having a builder that look at things this way in a detailed form really matters in getting what you're paying for. Because when you think about it, like for example, this is one of the reasons why I have a spare GSR head. Because regardless if it's a B18 or B20 that I'm building, I can run a big cam because the port volume is good enough. And this is also why I port the B16A or ITR intake manifold a certain way, knowing that the PR3 cylinder head, the port volume is kind of big or not really big, but it's, it's enough. So you got to factor in the intake runner entry 
to feel it better. Like here you can see on what we did with the ITR intake manifold because we know what's up. And you can click here for that video but of course it will be in the description below of this ITR intake manifold that we pointed previously, the video. And it reminds me, I said before that each head is different and someone said I can't be saying that because they all look the same. Well, you know, to the untrained eye, they all do look the same. But when you understand all the aspects or the geometry of the engine, they're all different. And of course, how you deal with the intake manifold, even the exhaust header, is all different. De depending on the compression ratio and even the cams, especially the cams. So, of course, this is part of blueprinting an engine. And blueprint, like, you know, like you've seen the blueprint of a house or a building, every single thing is measured including the arc or the degrees of how the door opens and that's how you blueprint an engine because locally i've seen a lot of people claim it's a blueprinted engine and whatnot but they've probably maybe done the measurements that we do just one fourth of it not even half and so how can you say it's a blueprinted engine right so that's for the locals so you gotta be aware and beware for the on those stuff because hey you gotta take care of where your money goes right and if you remember this k20 a prb head that we ported and also the k24 rbb head we can do a video about the comparison on this comment down below if you want and that's one of the aspects of what we do this on this channel is to market our shop and of course create more awareness and let other people understand the engines better. You can click here for more.